Alright, we are here for the finals of this 8-4 Innistrad uh, draft. Opponent has won the die roll, opted to play first, and has mulliganed to 6. We're going to keep our hand. We have a 2-drop, some sweet spells, and a 6-drop, need be, if we need be. Oh, he, he got the wolf hit and capped it. Alright, Geist Flame off the top, go. Oh, it's a 1-drop, but it is not Geist Flame. Uh, this is actually okay, though, since our Hinterland Hermit actually trade with it, trades with it until he hits... Uh, until he gets four mana. I'll assume he doesn't have another play here, but if he does, ooh, that's pretty bad for us. Alright, so aggro green. Green something? Green what? Mono green. <laughs> Alright, can't afford to block. Unfortunately, he might just pump anyway. Yeah. No good, no good. Luckily for us, our guy flips, and he's forced to block. Glad to make that trade. Perfectly fine with that. Um, some options are available to us. I think I'm just going to play the Torturer. I could have also rebought the Hinterland Hermit and replayed that. Uh, I'm going to block here, is the plan. So he's going to be forced to pump. And then I'm going to rebuy one of my creatures with the ghoul colors and then uh, harvest pyre, his wolf. Alright, so I think I'm going to rebuy the torturer. Yeah, the sack outlet torturer. And now I still have two cards in my graveyard. If he had um, the hunger of the howl pack last turn, he would have played it. Ranger's Guile would have blown us out there, but obviously he didn't have it, so I think that was the correct play. Now I need to start drawing land. Alright, there's one. So, I think, like, this doesn't get me anywhere. I think I'm going to Grave Purge for zero. Uh, I'm going to do it right now, just in case I draw the Reckless Waif. Hoping to hit a land. Um, because... Once I play the near Heath Stalker, it just straight up trades for the the boar, and uh, it gets rebought. So hopefully, yeah, there we go. And all is right in the world. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to alter's reap it for value since it's a straight up trade. Yeah, champion of the parish. Sure, I hope you attack. Damn, he did not. <laughs> Alright, equip torch, threaten to shoot, play the torture, threaten to sack, have altars reap left. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, maybe I should have just attacked there. No, that's not right. He would have just blocked with the champion. Alright, what's my friend got for us here? Two, four, six mana. He could have a bunch of things. Grave tiller worm would be pretty bad. Oh, maybe Prey Upon? Hmm, what's he got here? White, okay. Gather the townsfolk, he says. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that now. I don't need him getting triggers. He might have another, like, Festerhide Boar or an Olvenwald Mystics, which I think he's probably banking on. Oh, a Travel Preps. Okay. It's actually okay by me. Um, I'm going to... Sack my Undying Guy, draw two cards, and jump block. Two whiffs is pretty bad, though. <laughs> Ooh, Charmbreaker Devils, and we have Harvest Pyre and Grave Purge to, re uh, to buy back. Must be nice to draw on this almost every game, eh? Trust me, it is. Let's see what he does here. He has Travel Preps still in the graveyard. Alright, so he does that. Uh, he didn't show a Pump Spell last turn, yeah, so he can't afford... Or I would have Snap Blocked if he attacked. Rebuying Alter's Reap. Alright. Um, 
So I think I just play my wolf, because the wolf takes care of all those things pretty nicely. Still can't afford attack. Uh, I could straight up trade those for both of those, but not much value in that. Alright, he hit double white, so he might play like a silver claw griffin or something now. Looks like he might just have nothing again. Ooh, he was thinking about attacking. Uh, snap block with the Cassie Gulf, if that's the case. Hmm. Question is, do I want to use the Reap right now? No, I think that's alright. I want to be able to get the Grave Purge back, just because I can rebuy the near Heath Stalker and start, like, Alters Reaping it. Yeah, pretty good value. Alright, so we'll attack in for three. No blocks? Yep. And end of turn, I'm probably going to kill... Actually, I'm not going to kill anything. I want to rebuy the Grave Purge. That's the only thing I'm waiting for. Okay. With the Grave Purge back, I can carelessly attack in with anything. Or at least the Charm Breaker. <clears throat> and we still have Alter's Reap if he has like a Rebuke or something. Village Bell Ringer, sure. Like, we have so many tricks we can be doing right now. Anything that dies. Uh, what is he doing? Oh, okay, I see. So, I think the plan here is just to Alters Reap away the uh, Kessig Wolf. Because it was going to die anyway. And I'm going to Harvest Pyre. Um, and three, three, one, two, no, the two, two. And get rid of the Kessig Wolf and the Blazing Torch. That way I still rebuy uh, either the Altus Reap or the Harvest Pyre. And I can, oh, interesting. Okay, well, I guess that kills my Charm Breaker Devil, but I still have the Grave Purge. Uh, hopefully, I targeted that one first. Oh, it doesn't matter since it's doing 12 damage. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's just rebuy that right now. Maybe we can draw a two drop. Oh, of course we <laughs> we draw the charm breaker. I don't know what I was thinking. Hopefully, it doesn't cost us anything. I mean, we're still in a pretty significant position here. Sure, he kills one of our guys. We still get the Charm Breaker next turn. Charm Breaker has three targets for us. Yeah, I'll snap block the 2-2. Uh, two, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oop, one short. Just play a Charm Breaker. Pass the turn. Uh, snap blocking if he attacks. He's unlikely to have another trick. Uh, sure. Well, I can afford to take four, three. If I block the village bell ringer, um, there's no combat trick you could have to affect it. But if he has like a grave tiller worm, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. All right, so now we just take over the game, and I'm actually just going to play the uh, the rig for no value, because the only thing he has right now is the Alvison's Pilgrim. Yeah, I'm going to just shoot that. Attack for seven. I uh, might be playing a little bit loose, but... Doesn't really matter at this point. He's green-white. He's top-decking. I have burn and <laughs> two substantial creatures on the board. Alright, green-white is a thing. Um, like, Riot Devils is decent against him. Warden of the Wall is decent. But I think our deck is just so strong that we don't actually need to sideboard anything. 
but unfortunately we're gonna have to mold this hand because it's actually terrible. E this one's not great, but we got a one drop and a two drop. Um, actually, you're just gonna hold on to the torch here, just in case he has the werewolf shenanigans. Dark thicket. Oh, okay. Get Steph Shepherd. On the bright side, if he flips, um, if he flips the werewolves, and ours flips as well, which means I will attack in with mine, flipping his. Dark thicket wolf. Sure. Eee, and a wolf bitten captive. All right. So what's the play? Like those werewolves are gonna do a nasty business on us if we don't. I think I'm just gonna play the torch and pass the turn. Um, like he is capable of pumping now, but. If he attacks, I'll block. He tries to pump, I'll just shoot it beforehand. Yeah, that's correct block. He tries to pump, I shoot, I keep my guy. I trade the... Tw oh, okay. Alright, I'm actually fine with that if he doesn't want to pump. Hopefully he doesn't have to play a bear. Okay, that's alright, I suppose. Um... Play the wolf here. Trades with any of his guys, regardless of if they're pumped or not. And I'm hoping he doesn't just pass the turn, because that would be pretty bad for me. Oh, I'm snap blocking the villagers here. He's going very aggro. I think if I were him, I just would have passed the turn, flipping the guy. But I guess that's a pretty legitimate threat. Luckily for us, we have... Faithless looting to put five cards into our graveyard for Harvest Pyre. Uh, yeah, get ditch the Grave Purge. Need the land. Don't necessarily need the Torture. Alright, Harvest Pyre for five. Which is a little bit unfortunate. We got rid of a lot of our value, but it's a necessary evil to get rid of the, uh, the five five. Now he might just attack and pump here. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to take 5. I'll go to 9. Um, I'm hoping to draw a mountain next turn. That way I can play the Skurs Dag Cultist. As well as uh, having mana to Geist Flame. But I did not, in fact, do that. Uh, this is really bad because I'm forced to actually block the Kralin Horde Killer, otherwise I'm just dead on board. But this also makes him use his mana up. Um, not too many outs I have here. Like, I need to find a way to be able to deal 2 damage to that. Okay, and that actually is alright, because I can Geist Flame him now. That flips his werewolves. Still can't effectively block the Kralin Horde, but I can block the Gatstaff Shepherd now. He still has four cards in hand, going to be five when he draws. This game does not look very good for us. Again, snap, snap blocking the creature that we can trade with. Yeah, he'll pump. Oh, skillful lunge, okay. Alright, this is actually not the worst. Unless he plays another creature like that. Okay, so we need to draw a mount. Oh, wait, no, actually, we're just dead. Play, chump, chump. Yeah, okay, so we're dead. Yikes, very aggressive green werewolves. Um, let's get rid of some of this junk. I should have put in the riot devils, I said. I guess I take out a cultist. Yeah. It's too slow and doesn't have a big enough effect immediately on the board. We'll go with this. We're going to choose to play first since this deck is so aggro. Oh, gosh. If we had a mountain here, that'd be sick. We're going to have to mull that away. Keep a sketch six is perfectly fine. Uh, he kept his hand. All right, so if he has any early drops, we're kind of boned, especially if we don't draw a swamp or just any land in general. 
Okay, not good for us. Geist Flame off the top? No. Alright, I think we might be dead here. We need to get pretty lucky on our land draws. Okay, so he's not playing the villagers. He might just be playing a two drop. Okay, so land. Yeah, got there. Alright. Well. I think I'm actually just going to play the torture. Like, he's already shown to us that he's willing to trade off his creatures. This is actually susceptible to the uh, Slayer of the Wicked, but that's okay. Uh, sure, I will make that trade. He cannot play Festerhide Boar this turn. That's fine. Alright. Now we're in business. He can't attack. I can Fires of Undeath on upkeep. Oh, that's actually really bad for us. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to play the Torch here. I don't need to. Um... Just gonna play the Kessig Wolf. And then if he passes the turn, I fire some undeath against Step Shepherd. All right, that's good by me. And this will be two spells during the turn when I play Blazing Torch. Yep, you can tap my guy. Oh, I guess I'll play Reckless Wave instead. Okay, that reflips his guys. Just really need to hit some lands here. If I can get the Charmbreaker loop going, I'm pretty go golden. Alright, there's a land. Uh, yeah, gotta play it. Can't attack still, but land is still very good for us. Hopefully he doesn't play anything too crazy. <laughs> Hey, Slayer's pretty good. That untaps our guy, but he can tap it down again. Oh, he can tap, tap it down thrice. Sure. Um, I can take some hits here, alright. And I think I'm going to be killing the Slayer of the Wicked anyway, so we'll just make him, up, make him use up his mana for the Galvanic Juggernaut. Alright, let's hit a land, please. Got there. Okay, that's good. So we start rebuying our Fires of Undeath back. And, yeah, I'm going to have to attack in here. I can take four, four damage I'll, um, for a few turns. And he actually... Well, if he doesn't have a play here, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Ooh, that's a good one. Question is, do I? Uh, I don't know if I can risk buying into the uh, the rebuke. I th think he doesn't have it though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. This is risky. So I shoot him. He takes ten total. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to play the fiend though. I can. I can do the fires on upkeep and uh, be able to do it twice. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Looks like he's just top-decking land, so he can't actually attack here. Ooh, what the? Uh, I will snap take that. He might have like a Festerhide Boar again? No. Okay, interesting. So two spells actually flips his guys. Um, so I can double shoot like the villager. That seems pretty good. All right, not what I needed to draw, but he has to block the villager here. Or sorry, the Charmbreaker Devils. Oh, that was really bad. He's just gonna block with the villager. Like, if he blocks with all four, then I obviously just shoot this again, but... 
Actually, that was perfectly fine. If he chumps here, then I'm able to uh, blow up one of the humans with the fires. So I can save, I can actually save this Fires of Undeath again for the next turn. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's see what he does. So he's going to attack. That's interesting. I don't know if I'd do that if I were him. Um, shoot this end of turn. No, nope, I'm going to do it now. Like, if he doesn't have a way to deal with the Charm Breaker, I straight up win. Ooh. Do I Alter's Reap first and risk the, uh, drawing a land? I think I do. No Guts, no Glory. This is obviously the wrong play. <laughs> if I don't hit a land here, then I can't play the Fire Zone Death for the win. Alright, let's see if he's got it. Only attacking with the Charm Breaker here. Leave back the Fiend. And hey! Woo! Obviously not the best line of play, but uh, we got there, folks. Uh, Charm Breaker Devil was obviously an all-star, uh, as was Blood Gift Demon. Uh, hey, so we got our eight packs. Um, yeah, hopefully we can accomplish those same results um, in the meantime. I mean, we had a really strong, aggressive deck with a lot of control elements. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and we hope to see you next time.